Today, guys, I'm going to share with you the top six money saving hacks. If you've never been to Thailand before, I guarantee this will save you thousands. And that will mean you can travel for longer and your money will go a lot further. So if you're coming to Thailand and you want to save some money, take some notes because there's a lot of good information in here. Okay, so throughout the course of this video, we're going to add up all the costs and see how much we can actually save over the course of 30 days, which would be about the same as an average traveller who's coming here on a holiday. I'm going to put all the costs up there so you can keep track. And at the end of the video, we're going to add up the total costs and see how much we saved. Okay, so the first is about your money here in Thailand. And what I would recommend doing is bring as much cash as you can possible. Because when you're here, you can go to these TT exchanges and exchange your cash for the equivalent of Thai bar without having to pay these stupid ATM fees. At these ATMs, you're going to pay a 220 baht transaction fee. And then if your bank has any international fees, you have to pay those on top also. And then failing that, when your cash runs out, don't go to these ATMs and go to the actual banks. You can go in there with your passport and just take your money straight out the bank as you would back home. And yeah, it's going to help you save a lot of money. Let's get into number two. Okay, so the second thing I wish I knew before I got here, download Bolt as soon as you get out of the airport. I spent the first few weeks out here paying for taxis, paying for motorbikes, traveling all around the city, spending hundreds of pounds. You can get Bolt or Grab. You don't actually realize how much you end up spending when you do get these taxis and motorbikes. It's so much cheaper. It's like a third of the price for most journeys. Just get the app, get it on your phone, get it straight away. Especially as a tourist, if you've never been to Thailand before and you're gonna come here and you don't really know what's a good price and what's a bad price for a journey in a taxi. But with Bolt, all the prices are fair. Paying cash as well, which is a good benefit. Download Bolt as soon as you get here and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money. Let's get into number three. Okay, so the next is about the BTS train in Bangkok. And this train, you can travel all around the city, back and forth from 19 baht to 59 baht, minimum to maximum fare. And this is insanely cheap. It's cheaper than Bolt, cheaper than Grab, cheaper than any motorbike or any taxi you're gonna get. And you can travel for miles and miles. So if there's a particular temple you wanna go and see on the other side of Bangkok, or you wanna go check out a particular restaurant or a particular building, hop on the BTS. I know it may be confusing to a lot of tourists at first, but all you've gotta do is go to the BTS station, press English, select the place you want to go to, and it's that simple. You get a ticket, you walk through the barriers. Definitely worth getting used to the BTS system and how it works because you're going to save yourself a lot of money doing this. It's crazy cheap. That's how much the minimum and the maximum price is in pounds and dollars to travel all around the city, just so you know. Okay, so this next one is a pretty good idea if you want to go travel around some islands and you want to save some money too. So what a lot of people do when they come to Bangkok, they fly into Bangkok and then they go travel around from there they'll go down to Phuket or over to Pattaya or up north but what you could actually do is just fly straight down to Phuket which is down south and then travel all the way up so you're not going back and forth on yourself by doing this you're going to save a lot of money on trains taxis coach and buses because you're not going to be double backing on yourself just bear this in mind and you'll save yourself some money Okay, so this next one can save you a lot of money and it's if you come in the rainy season as opposed to coming in the high season. Now there are some pros and cons with this one. Some of the places in Thailand are only open in the high season. So if you're planning on going to some islands, do a bit of research which ones you want to go to beforehand and see what dates they're open. But a lot of them are open during the rainy season as well. There's only a couple that aren't. And the benefits that you're going to get with this is it's going to be less tourists, less busy and everything's going to be generally cheaper. A lot of the hotels in the high season for a standard room is going to be upwards of 60 pound a night which is quite high but in the low season they're going to be as low as 20 pound a night so that's a pretty big difference when it comes to it it's like a third of the price in the low season and when you're pairing that up with cheaper flights cheaper food and less tourists it may be something you want to consider the high season is from november to april and the low season is from may to october so just bear this in mind when you're planning a trip here and it's a good idea to bear all this in mind if you're planning on coming here on a budget so if you want to save some money come in the low season. You can have just as good a time as you can in the high season. And it doesn't even rain that much in the low season. And it can also rain in the high season as well. So there's not that much big of a difference. Okay, so this next one is gonna be about Airbnb and what you can do to save yourself 30% discount on your stay while you're here in Thailand. And the prices that you're gonna get by doing this are gonna be way cheaper than if you was paying for a place for one week or two weeks or even three weeks. Great going from one place to another, staying a week here, staying a week there, and having a look at everything. But now what I've done, I've booked an Airbnb 30 days and by doing this, I've saved myself a discount of 30%. Just type it in in Google, Airbnb long stays, and no matter what accommodation you book, you're gonna get 30% off. Now we've added 
added all the total savings on average what you would save on these motorbikes bolts atms flight journeys coming in the rainy season airbnb and that's how much you could potentially save and when you're out here in thailand you want to make your money go as long as possible because that means you can travel for as long as possible so by knowing all these things and implementing them you're going to save yourself money and you're going to be able to go on holiday for even longer thank you for sticking to the end of this video i hope you found this video useful if you could do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you want to buy me a coffee and support the channel there's a link for that in the description also cheers guys peace see you in the next one